So I joined public forum in freshman year at school because I liked the idea of like having a partner. <laughs> it's probably one of the biggest reasons I've continued doing it. Uh, the PF event is very much like partnership centric because you have to do everything with your partner. Um, I really, I really like being able to work with uh, my partner. You have two brains working on every speech. Um, and it's just, it's a lot less stressful. <laughs> So I actually started in some form of debating in sixth grade. I think I was somewhat peer pressured into it by my friends and I just went to one practice being like, okay, let's see how this is. Let's see if it works. And then I got swayed by a propaganda poster and then I've started PF. My dad did debate when he was in high school and college. And so growing up, he was always telling me stupid stories of like the high key dangerous things that he would get up to during his time debating. Um. I think it was like in eighth grade, my Evo uh, decided that we were going to do speech and debate together, and so then we did it together. I do public forum. I do public forum debate, so it's a uh, partner debate in which you have a new topic every month or two months. I just think that the balance between learning a lot about a different topics and having that time to research it made it more appealing than the other forms of debate because it always felt like you either had too little time on a topic or too much time on a topic and that just hit the sweet spot essentially each side has four speeches so i will do two of the speeches and my partner will do the other two speeches so in pf there are four speeches you have the constructive which is always pre-planned that is written beforehand and it is rarely changed between rounds you have the rebuttal which responds to the constructive you have the summary which is like kind of just wrapping up everything that's gone so far doing some more offense and defense and then you have final focus which is just wrapping up the round so my debate partner is kavi butani and she's also a junior here at los altos kavi as a friend has always been super supportive of me um especially like in a lot of my personal issues that i'm not going to go into here but uh yeah so in terms of like just being someone to talk to, someone to bounce things off of, she's always been there. But like, the thing about Amin is that Amin and I can like not talk for two weeks and then just be completely fine afterwards because um, I love to annoy him and he can be, he forgets to respond to his texts, like a lot. It's really annoying, but he o is always there for me when I need him, usually, if he's checking his phone. One of the things I've always appreciated about him is he always tried to be supportive and he like he doesn't always get what I'm thinking, but he has like enough trust in me to be like, OK, just do it. So um, this is a story that is held against me for like and it will probably always be held against me. Uh, so that's a fun story. This is my favorite story to tell that I'm in because it's very embarrassing. I was actually going to be partner with another one of my friends and he ditched me like three hours before our first debate practice freshman year. And Kavya had been looking for a partner and didn't have one. So I was like, okay, Kavya, do you want to be partners? At this point, I like barely knew her, like had talked to her like twice because we had classes together in middle school. So then we became partners and now she's one of my closest friends. And I was his rebound. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not sure why I agreed to be partners with him, but I don't regret it. For some reason, I think we clicked really well, pretty quickly. Um, I And the better part was like, we both had no idea how public forum worked. So we kind of like learned together how to work to with each other. So it wasn't hard because it's not like we were thrown into the deep end and we're like, hey, go to a tournament. It's more like here's six months to get to know each other, figure out how to work together, and then let's go to your first tournament. At the beginning, we were very awkward. We didn't even have each other's phone numbers. Like we just kept using Slack. Uh, so there is like this genuine level of awkwardness and like not understanding each other. And like over the first year, we really got to know each other and became friends. And um, the truth of the situation is we wouldn't have been actually good friends unless we had been debate partners because we just never had that connection and that opportunity and by becoming partners with Amin he actually became really good friends with two of my really good friends and it was great I think Kavya like I barely knew Kavya so my I didn't have much perception of her past like oh she's another person at school who seems pretty smart and pretty invested in academics uh, but past that I knew nothing so the past two and a two and a half, almost three years, um, I've learned a lot. Being debate partners with someone is very different than being friends with them because you you're not just friends with them. You have to rely on them to do their work. You have to rely on them to be there for you, like not just like friend in a friendship way, but in a very 
argumentative evidence-based way and you need to have that communication and that understanding i like have experience doing a debate format without a partner and having a partner is always helpful because like when i'm stuck on how to respond to something Javier's there as a second brain to be like hey you can use this and i feel like every round that we've done that has come into play in a partnership you always need to be like halving the work so if one partner has to um carry for another partner it can get a little uncomfortable which has happened like time and time again one of us has had to carry each other but i think it's just made us better friends and just better people through each other wow how to describe way shu okay <laughs> um yeah you know she is a we've been friends since kindergarten i think um and so we've known each other for a long time and she's a really a really nice like great i don't know how to describe her in few words eva is super cool um i don't know she's such a sweet person and she is a steadying presence in my life <laughs> I don't think there was ever a moment where we didn't know who our partner was going to be. We both wanted to do debate, so it felt like pretty natural for us to do debate together. So there's like this piece of advice, which is that you should never be debate partners with your best friend. And we said that. <laughs> so um, yeah, she's like one of my closest friends and we've known each other since we were like five, but we didn't like each other till we were nine. Being debate partners just like suddenly we had to spend way more time together so whether that was prepping beforehand going to meetings together every week and then the hours and hours uh during debate tournaments we were just always together so it kind of forced us to get closer and get along more there have been times in our partnership where it was rocky we had to get you know marriage counseling but um, because we were like friends before, we always knew it was never going to be a big thing. Like we're not going to end a friendship over like a stupid debate thing. So all of our issues are able to get worked out, you know? So Weishu and I's qualities really complement each other um, and we work really well together. And I don't think that either of us could do that on our own. I think like in our sophomore year, we were having a little bit of an issue because I was feeling really overwhelmed with non-debate responsibilities and Evo was feeling like I kind of wasn't being fair to her in terms of how much work we were making each other do and I felt like Evo was being kind of unreasonable um, and the issue was that neither of us would say anything <laughs> like so in the end I think like towards the end of the school year we like actually talked about it and since then we've been able to divide up the work a lot more fairly and we've been able to just be like nicer and more open about it instead of like quietly getting mad at each other all the time because like i care more about her as a friend than i do a debate partner you know wish you and i will go through phases where we just absolutely hate each other but it only lasts for about a day and then we forget why we're mad and why we aren't talking and then we just like <laughs> We don't even we don't even like talk about what our issue was. We just go back to being friends. <laughs> um, and like if you're not as close to someone, it's a lot harder to bounce back from things like that. And what is your favorite part about school? Probably the community. I've made a lot of really good friends and I've been able to like grow as a person through it, which is the cheesiest thing to say, but like it's really a great community cuz I've genuinely been able to meet so many different people learn a lot about different people it's very like kind of crackhead energy honestly um we're all very very like okay we're all very smart people but we all are just kind of insane like we're all very strange so it creates a weird insular community of people that are all kind of the same but in our own ways I think people think that speech and debate kids are a lot less fun than they are. Like, yes, we're talking about nuclear war, but in between talking about nuclear war, we're talking about, like, Barbie, a mermaid tale. I think what you should think about with debate is that uh, it's a community and that it's not just a bunch of nerds. There's so many different options for you, whether in speech or debate. 
Um, and you can have a lot of fun, even if you don't like really like the writing or research part. As long as you like are willing to put in the time, um, there's a lot of different opportunities and experiences you can find.